Hello everybody, AJ Ryzik, and today we are going to take a look at how to replace Nautilus files with the Nemo file manager from Cinnamon. Now, uh, for those of you that have been with the, uh, the uh, GNOME desktop for a long time, you know that over the years uh, the GNOME development team has, for better or for worse, stripped out a lot of the features of uh, GNOME files and uh, if you want to get some of those features back one of the best ways to do that is by swapping in Nemo from the Cinnamon desktop. Now when you do this you are going to have to uh, add a few Cinnamon dependencies but it's not a whole lot um, and as far as I'm concerned it adds a whole lot of functionality to your desktop. Um, and, and I'll kind of show you some of the stuff I mean once uh, once uh, we get that installed. So to do this, and it is really easy to do because all the all the uh, you know everything that you need is already in the uh, Fedora 21 uh, repository. So let's go and open up our terminal. And don't worry, all these terminal commands I will. Um, I'll leave them down below in the uh, video description so that uh, you don't have to remember them or pull them off of the screen here. All right, and uh, let me just copy and paste from my notes. So we're going to do sudo yum install nemo, nemo file roller, nemo, yeah, file roller, file roller, nemo, nemo preview, enter, put in our password. and give it time to do its thing. Okay, so the actual installation is complete now. And now we're going to set Nemo as the default handler for our directory types. So let me copy this over here. XDG mine default Nemo.desktop inno slash directory. So now, when you open your home directory, it should open with Nemo. So let's give that a try. Click home. And yep, that is Nemo. OK. Now, you will notice that. Um, and, and I'll show you how to fix this in a minute that we now have some icons on our desktop but like I said give me a second and I'll show you how to fix that um, next we're going to turn off desktop icon handling by Nautilus files alright so turn on desktop handling by Nemo All right, so we've got all that done now. Let me get this terminal out of the way. And as you can see, doing all that, that got rid of our icons on uh, on the desktop. Now, if for some reason the, um, like I said, I talked for a minute about the icons. If your icons don't disappear, um, after uh, after putting in those terminal commands, if you go to dconf editor and give me a second here, I kind of got to look for this. Uh, go down to Nemo and Desktop. See where it says Show Desktop Icons. Uh, it's probably still checked, so basically just come in here, uncheck it, and your icons will disappear. And I mean, as far as the installation goes, that's it. And we now have it set up so that by default we will use the uh, the uh, Nemo file browser. Now, Nautilus is still installed on your system, uh, and you could use it if you want. I think if you go and pull up files, yeah, you'll see you have two files there. One is one is actually Nemo, and one is uh, is the Nautilus file browser. 
Um, but let's go and we'll take a look at Nemo and I'll show you why I like it better. Um, and you know, a lot, like I said, a lot of the, uh, the, uh, the old options that we had in the, in the earlier versions of, uh, of Nautilus there, we've got them back. Um, so <clears throat> if you go under view, for me, this is the biggest one right here is the dual pane mode. This is, I mean, so, uh, so nice for just copying and moving files from one folder to the next, one directory to the next, that kind of thing. Uh, just makes it so much easier that why this feature was taken away, I have no idea. I mean, yes, in GNOME files, you can go and you can open up um, two windows of, of uh, files uh, and you know drag and drop that way but I mean why you know I just don't get why you would take away this dual pane mode um, so that's a big one right there for me um, and you can see you got all kinds of options as far as what how you want it displayed and that sort of thing and the other thing that I really like is the right click menu in that you have the open as root, um, open as terminal, um, and you can still do, you know, open new tab, open new window. So those things that are currently present in, in Nautilus files are still there, but we've got all those old options again. And especially for me, the open as root, that is so nice. I mean, yeah, you could go to the terminal and do, um, you know, sudo, Nautilus to open up uh, Nautilus as root, but this open as root, it just makes, it, you know, it makes sense to have it there. Why they took that away, no idea. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. And like I said, th this is, these are some of the reasons why I like this for my file manager so much better than, uh, than uh, uh, Nautilus files. One thing you will notice is the styling is a little bit different than uh, than what. Uh, let me go and pull open uh, Neem or uh, Nautilus. You can see styling is somewhat different, but it's not so different that it looks out of place. Uh, I like the fact that you've got a a more compact header right here. Um, but at the same time, I'll I'll deal with the I guess you call it wasted space um, as as uh, so that I can get this functionality back. And that is about it for this tutorial. I uh, hope it helps you out. And like I said, I will leave um, all the terminal commands down below in the video description so that you can use those if you like. Uh, as always, if you enjoyed the video, please give us a big old thumbs up. Subscribe if you are not a subscriber. Uh, got any questions, comments, all that kind of stuff, leave it down below, and I will get to it as soon as possible. Thanks a lot, and see you on the next video.